Okay, so people want to know how to side chain in Mixcraft 9. We used to supply with Mixcraft uh, a compressor called Sidekick 6, but it required two instances to be loaded all the time, and it kind of didn't work great um, that I remember. But we don't include it anymore because side chaining is now a native function of Mixcraft. So it supports any plugin that uh, has the side chaining feature. So the first thing we're going to do here is show you what we've got. I've got a four on the floor track up here, it's a kick drum, and then down here I have a pad. Just a constant pad. There's our kick. And we want this to have that annoying up and down wah -oh, wah -oh, wah -oh, wah that you hear in dance clubs. So we're going to grab a compressor. Let's use the uh, popular freebie density mk2 okay so the first thing you want to do is choose your side chain source if side chain source is not available here that means the plugin doesn't support it okay we'll choose dry from four on the floor from up here and then you want to change this to external and this to limiter and then we're gonna play it and do some adjustments and see what we can see if we can get it to uh, pulse Okay, there you go. There's one. Let's deactivate that. Uh, let's do the same thing with the Fab Filter Pro C. Okay, so a side chain source. Four on the floor dry. I want my ratio to be pretty strong. And I'm going to pull down the, uh, the threshold. Okay, I want the attack to be short and the release is going to help us get that uh, pulsing thing happening. Um, and there is a external, there it is. Okay. So it works just fine with that one too. Now let's say you don't have a plugin that supports side chaining. We can fake it. Let's go down here and grab this VTC. Does not support side chain, but we are going to fake it. And how we're going to do that is click here. We're going to add an audio controller. And we're going to get the control from the four on the floor. And I'm going to have it control the parameter compression amount, which I'm going to call that threshold since there isn't an actual threshold on this compressor. And then I'm just going to play with it and try to get it to uh, pulse like that. There you go.